I mean, it sounds ridiculous, but he just he never gave up, man. He, everything was going against him. And he won that huge flip against Devoris, and he just keeps on fighting. That's the spirit of Jason Cohn. When he gets going, I mean, I'm telling you, when that engine is fired up and he is harnessing that horsepower for Cohn, he is unstoppable, especially when he's focused on really studying the craft that is No Limit Hold'em. I mean, it's arguably maybe the best player in the world, Dave. Cohn limps. Adam is raising up to 165000 Coon's not folding. I think we know that, right? No, oh, he's not. He can have some nine. limp shoves here, but, you know, maybe maybe it's not really his style. It's more about, okay, I know you're going to do this, Mr. Adams, with all of your extremely horrific hands, right? And, and Adams is very well balanced. He's going to have the good and the very bad that he's going to control pots with in position off of especially vulnerable and dangerous stacks. Ace, ace, six. One of every suit. Adams on just 685,000. Not much has gone his way at this final table. He came in as our chip leader. He is now the short stack. He's going to size this it down. This is all part of his plan, 000. yeah. The down bet on the flop. Trying to tell a story that he has an ace. Now, Cohn, he's just so good. He's got king high. He's probably going to go down fighting. And he's going to force Adams to show him the goods. Say, buddy, I just don't believe you. I limp called king high for a reason. I'm trapping you. I'm going to let you barrel it off. Yeah, and that card has to just end it, doesn't it? I mean, Adams can't keep firing, can he? Well... He can, Tuck. I mean, it's it's going to be well, very difficult once you've been called, right? It, how how? Here's the thing that you can start to think about too, which I know is running through Adams's mind: is how many aces does Jason Kuhn have where he's limp calling rather than limp, and then just sending Adams all in pre? So right now, Adams is deducing and saying, "Okay, I think you have king high, and I'm going to make you earn it if you're going to call me down with king high. I do not believe you have an ace." In this spot, you would have sent me home pre-flop. So this is what's happening right now in this moment. Here comes Adams. He's going to try and tell this story with just nothing but three high. No pair, no draw, all heart. This is all heart. This is crazy. I mean, you'd think with the double-paired board out there, knowing Kuhn has a king, that, and also knowing that Kuhn is not going to fold to a second bullet. That you've got to, you know, you've got to unload the clip here. Does Adams go for it? And does he get the king high to fold? Sure. There's kind of a little a smirk there, I think, from Adams. He, he knows, I think he knows right where he's at in the seven. I mean, clearly, he knows he has three high, but I think he knows where Kuhn's at. It's just yeah. a question of, all right, can I actually get him to fold? Can I do this? Can I pull it off with three high? Oh my He's gosh. Try. This is filthy. Adams. It really is. I mean, we knew how the flop was going to go. And if Adams is going to bet the turn, he kind of has to keep going with it. The jack doesn't change anything. Look at Cohn just study Adams here. It says, buddy, I think you're up to something here. Yeah, Cohn's going to use some of those time cards. And this is kind of a Nick Schulman moment where Nick will point out. He goes, sometimes you just got to look at your opponent in the eye and think, do you have it or not? Adams telling the story that he's got an ace. Whether this works or not, Timothy Adams is my hero. 
Oh, this is what absolutely heart. awesome. The Prince of Poultry. Oh, my gosh. It's going to work. It oh, works. Oh, oh, oh. oh, you are my hero. Something happens with the clock, right? Yeah. All heroes don't wear capes. Timothy Adams, folks. That oh, is awesome. Yeah. Absolutely awesome. Yeah.